good snowy morning everyone it is March 2018 and it's been 50 degrees or better or worse and it is snowy man it I woke up this morning and it was raining pretty crazy and uh, it was supposed to, to taper off into a little bit of snow but man we've got I mean it got a little colder a little faster so we got crazy amount of snow this morning uh, I mean not super crazy but you know crazy since it's been 50 to 60 degrees and uh, there's the sheep the sheps my sheps but yeah so I looked out the window this morning and uh, looked at the greenhouse and I told Ashley I said, oh man the uh, greenhouse uh, breaker must have flipped or something because we have our greenhouse right here has uh, two layers of plastic on it and an inflator motor in between and so it uh, it has you know depending on where at but it has let, let's just say six to to six inches to a foot of air gap in it and so we really have to keep that uh, keep that motor going 24 7 just a little electric motor but that has to stay on simply because that's how the the plastic stays tight and if your plastics not tight it can get tore up and uh, I don't know if you can see it from here but it is just super smashed and uh, you know look up top there and it's uh, just super smashed in and so I went and checked all the breakers and everything and uh, everything was good. Ships. <laughs> anyway, it was uh, it was good. And so I went outside, and the motor's still going. And this snow is just so wet that it actually is just caving that plastic in. This is the first wet snow I've ever had. This uh, greenhouse has only been up for pretty close to right at a year and uh, it wintered really well um, we've got heat plumbed into it from our uh, our uh, wood furnace that plums into our house and so we just actually plumb that in there as well and it stays really warm especially with the air gap it, we don't lose a lot of heat but enough heat goes through those layers of plastic that we uh, we don't really get accumulation of snow but it came down so fast and it's so wet and heavy that it's just caving that greenhouse in let's go check it out Yeah, so usually you would look up here and there's a huge air gap and I mean, right here I'm not pushing on the outside layer but, but man it's close I mean right here is touching and it's really dark in here so there's quite a bit of quite a bit of snow up there I'm going to uh, I'm gonna stack that wood stove full get a uh, shooting some real hard heat up in here and, and hopefully that will get that uh, that slush knocked right off of the building because we don't want the plastic caving in but uh, let's go check out the sheep and we're gonna let out the uh, chickens as well so we've had the sheep now for two days They've seemed to adapt it well. If you guys haven't seen the videos yet, we've been uh, we've got an entire sheep series. Uh, we we just got these sheep. Um, if you're new to our channel, um, we went to off grid with Doug and Stacy and picked up two ewes, and we're thinking they're bred because he had them running with his sheep Rambo and uh, or his ram and uh, Rambo Ram, pretty clever name. But anyway, he uh, he had them running with them for two to three weeks, and we're thinking they're bred. If you can see uh, the way that one there was chewing with her mouth, all kind of crazy and stuff. Henry does a really good impression. He's like, "Look, Daddy, this is how they uh, chew with their mouth." <laughs> pretty funny. But yeah, super pretty out here, man. We'll get the drone up here in a minute and. Uh... Get some footage of this snow. This is awesome. You can see on the highway it's super slushy. So MoDOT hasn't even been by here to do anything. It's just the ground temperature is is warm enough where it's you know melting right off. Got our skid loader up here finally. That thing's been broke down for about nine, ten months. So we gotta get a part. We drug it up here, gotta get a part to fix that.
Don't touch the fence. That is super hot. Done got hit by that once. That was enough. We made a little makeshift sheep shelter. I'm not sure they've gotten in it yet. Um, we put their water over here and put a little bit of oats next to it. Put some straw bedding inside of it. And it's just a crate, um, a wooden crate that uh, tractor parts came in. Got that from my dad. And uh, he gave that to us. Thanks, Dad. And he had just made a little temporary sheep shelter because I knew it was going to be raining. I knew it was going to be snowing just a little bit. Not like it is now. I didn't know that. But, I mean, it's big enough for him to get into for sure. But I haven't seen him in it yet. Uh, we do plan on building something a little bit bigger. And it's going to be built off of this probably standing height at least and uh you know so that's that's a 10 by 16 so we're talking from here to here is 10 foot so we'll probably be about that wide and it'll be out to here as well which you know a 10 by maybe build them like a 10 by 12. we're probably going to build that out of pallets so we'll show you how we do that man the blackberries sure look awesome in the winter time Again, if you're new to our channel, we've got 80 foot row blackberries. We've got five rows of those. I'll let them chickens out. Y'all one out. All right. They didn't even want out. They said, ooh, it's too cold out there. What do y'all think? You guys ain't no weenies. So this is the land we just had cleared out. And this is where the sheep will be on this field here. Oh, probably in about, oh, I hope a month. I hope a month we'll have some good grass growing. We've got to get a good pasture mix sown in there. And I'm gonna box plate it a little bit and uh, sp spread some seed. I've got an electric seed spreader that I made and I'll show you guys that, but I'm gonna spread this whole thing in some kind of good or, or sow it in the good grass and uh, then we might even rent like a bell shredder and uh, you know it just hooks up with the tractor and we're gonna shred a couple hay bales over it that way it kind of um, you know really covers up that seed and hopefully it doesn't get washed out or eaten all up by the birds so all right guys Thanks for tuning in, and I really hope you enjoyed a little bit of morning chores here. Just wanted to show you this snow. That drone footage was awesome, man. Just beautiful sights. Um, man, check out the blackberries. Aren't they awesome looking? We're going to be putting some blackberry videos out pretty soon. going to show you what to do in the wintertime with blackberries. We have a really awesome uh, why you should prune your blackberries and when. I will link that video right there if you haven't seen that. I um, appreciate you checking our channel out. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of people at the end of the videos, they, they're going to just tell you the same old, same old. Thanks for watching. Um, hit that like button, you know, and, and we do, we do want you to do that. But this is from my heart. I really appreciate comments. Um, we have a good handful of regular commenters. And you guys know who you are. I really appreciate getting that one on one interaction with you guys and uh, becoming, um, you know, just becoming friends with you and getting to know you um, a little bit more so I do appreciate the comments so leave us a comment below what you thought and uh, yeah 
Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.